Efforts have been put in place gearing towards fast-tracking rehabilitation of communities devastated by insurgency in the northern part of Adamawa State. These efforts are being carried out by the Adamawa State Government in collaboration with Oxfam, the German government and other international development partners by allowing victims to access grants. Correspondents filed in this report. This flag of, of project implementation grant competition is a new phase to unite ravaged communities by Outlaw Boko Haram sect in Adamawa State. The ceremony, which marks another stage in the implementation of the Social Cohesion and Inclusion Community Development Plan, spanning five years, at over 150 participants comprising representatives of affected communities, state and local government planners and officials of Oxfam, Cruden, CPIAD and other development partners. A key component of the new approach to achieving sustained and inclusive community development planning and implementation as initiated by the Adamo State Government in collaboration with Oxfam, Germany and other development partners is the mobilization sensitization and training of key drivers of the program at all levels. We have through our previous intervention and under this intervention tracked and also covered a lot of returnees, IDPs, people living with disabilities and women to access social services, including having an opportunity to participate in development planning. The country director of Oxfam, Tijani Ahmed, thanks to the Adamawa State Government for being steadfast in this community development partnership and said the competition is a motivator and has incentives. Women and children, men are getting empowered through what we are doing today. And uh, I believe certainly our community should uh, feel the impact of what we are doing and uh, we return all the thanks to Oxfam and uh, with the partners, crew down, separate and the chairs. While all the stakeholders and members of the affected communities say the community development strategy is already having a positive impact on the lives of the people. We thank uh, Sepat also that we have that synergy together as crew down. I think this is very commendable. And we thank our communities that you've embrace us, you've taken us as partners to work with, and you've given us that uh, cooperation to work together with you. Without you, there wouldn't be us. Oxfam is even the first NGO in Nigeria to build the IDP camps during the peak period of the surgency period. So we've always been here. This is not our first project in Michigan local government, and even in Adamawa State. So when Proat, Proat, uh, at the end of Proat, Pragebet said project which ended early last year, and that was not even implemented in a single local government. It was even in up to five or six local governments. So we've always been here, and uh, we've always been adopting um, conflict-sensitive approaches because even this one within the CDP um, project, we also adopt conflict-sensitive approach and the one that we're even bringing in that the city spoke about, the gender-focused one. When we are affected with the Boko Haram, the Oxfam and other uh, non-governmental organizations, they help us seriously to revive our life with food, uh, with some medicine in terms of uh, some uh, diseases that were coming contact, contacted with them. So some uh, people like Oxfam, they, they bring water to us and other things like uh, health materials to help ourselves. That oh really? Yeah, it affect our, it affect us positively because uh, schools will be rehabilitated and other places dilapidated places sometimes uh, in the future. Uh, sorry, some places previously which have been dilapidated has been renovated now. The event which took place in a township hall of Michiko, the headquarters of Michiko local government area of Adamawa State had in attendance of ward development supported committees of 16 wards and other stakeholders who will compete to determine which community implements the best people-oriented projects. Hello, 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.